Minecraft. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show. As we talked about last episode, I need to see if I can find a way to automatically have the spawn eggs that I'm making on the moon uh, turn into the, the pig zombies, zombie pigmen, that I want them to be. And so this piece of equipment here is from Expanded Redstone. It's called an item effector, and I believe that it will do what I want it to do. So the item effector uh, is sort of kind of essentially just like a, um, a dispenser, except instead of throwing things, it, I believe it just does the equivalent of a right click. So if I do this, you see the zombie pig man appears. Uh, however, he appears within the item effector block. So that might not be ideal. Another problem I've noticed is that the spawn egg is still here. So that is definitely some type of a bug that I don't particularly like. But I will figure out... Oh, and now it's gone. Well, that's odd. So if I... Let's try this again. If I put this spawn pigman in there and I do it, there's one, and there's two. Well, it definitely should only have gotten one. Uh, let me do it again. Oops. Uh, yeah, there's another one. But if I if I go in here and try to take this out, I do still have it, huh? Okay, well, there's a little bit of a bug there, but I will try to figure that out here in a bit. Now, my next question is, I got a full gold ingot from, from that zombie pigman. That's kind of cool. Uh, my next question is going to be whether or not I can place items into, uh, into the item effector. So let's take an export bus and put that on the back like so. And I'm just going to tap into my underground cabling here. Obviously, this is not where this is going to be. I just need to test this to see if it does indeed work. So let's say I put, uh, let's keep it on, let's just keep it on active with a signal because I don't want it to move a ton of stuff there. So I tell it to take in some stone. It has nothing there now, which is good. So if I turn the lever on, like so, then it's putting stones in there. All right, that's good. So I can import items into the item effector. Good to know. Okay. Let me just clean up my mess that I have made. And I, well, of course I left one here. All right, let me uh, finish cleaning this up and then let me check out something else. Okay, I'm here with a vanilla Minecraft dispenser. And if you put a, a, a spawner egg in there, this will, uh, cause the um, the zombie pigman to spawn as well. Of course, I had to spawn an infernal one. But interestingly enough, again, the spawn egg does not get used up. So it's not the same as if I if I use the egg myself, then that egg would disappear. So um, what I thought was a bug with the uh, item effector from expanded redstone is probably not a bug. It's probably the way that the Coding is done for the egg spawners. So I'm gonna do some more research to see if I can find something that will Have the effect I want it to have which is create the, zom the zombie pig man But also actually use up the egg in the process now. Here's an interesting situation This is a vanilla dropper and I've put a zombie spawn a zombie pigman spawn egg in there and when I give it a redstone signal it spits out a the the spawn egg but I can continue to do so like that and then I end up with a whole bunch of zombie pigman spawn eggs and the original one is still in there so that is not good I don't like dupe bugs so we'll get rid of those real quick we'll eventually despawn out there um, back to more research. 
The extra cells add-on for Applied Energistics has this item dropper. I've set this to uh, th the difference between this and a regular vanilla dropper is there is no inventory uh, in the item dropper. Instead, you tell it what to drop and it pulls those items directly from your Applied Energistics system. So you can see here I have one uh, zombie pigman spawn egg in there and if I give it a redstone signal it will drop a zombie pigman spawn egg. Now if I go back over here there is no longer a zombie pigman spawn egg and in fact if I try to do this again nothing happens. So this effectively uh, does not duplicate the spawn eggs like the vanilla dropper does but unfortunately it also doesn't cause the spawning of the zombie pigmen so it doesn't help me but it is interesting to note that um, the bug that exists with uh, spawn eggs does not exist with the uh, item dropper from extra cells. Okay the autonomous activator from thermal expansion seems to work properly. Uh, sadly I can't show that to you because I put my last my my only uh, zombie pigman spawn egg in here, activated it, and it summoned a zombie pigman as intended, and then the uh, egg was gone from in here. So it looks like I will be using the autonomous activator, which is probably going to be the easiest thing to do. Uh, I already know that I can pipe items into it, so I should have no issues with that. So that will allow me to uh, be able to create the setup where I can supply the activator with the zombie uh, pigman spawn eggs, have it spawn the zombie pigmen, and then feed that into a the mob harvester from Rotary Craft. So with that said, I'll head back up to the moon and work on that. Well, here we are, and, and what the what the heck is this? Give me that book. What does this say? Mr. Khan, we have recently heard of your research into genetic manipulation. As I'm sure you can understand, we people of the moon do not believe in genetic manipulation. You have no doubt witnessed the purity of our peoples. And they all did look alike. As such, we cannot allow you to continue in your genetic manipulation endeavors on our small but important to us moon. Please stop your activities immediately. We do not wish to resort to violence, as violence tends to damage our bodies and hurt our genetic purity. But we will resort to any means necessary to stop your research. Sincerely, the Council of Moon Mayors. Oh, for crying out loud. Look, one of you has to be the mayor. You all look exactly alike, but I received a letter from the Council of Mayors. One of you has to be in charge. I just want to talk to that person. Don't just nod your head at me. Tell me who the mayor is. Is it you? Is that why you're nodding? Are you the mayor? You're the mayor. Oh, goodness. Okay, good. You're the mayor. I received your letter, and I don't think that anything I'm doing is particularly dangerous. You think it is dangerous. Okay. Um, is there any way I can get a special permit of some kind? Do you have any words to say at all? You are very frustrating. Do you know that? You have... You, uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so... The people of the moon, for whatever reason, don't want me to do genetic manipulation here on the moon. It seems like wherever I go, the indigenous peoples don't want me there. So my solution is to go someplace where there are no indigenous peoples, and that would be Mars. Mars is, uh, is, um, I think it's that one right there. Yeah, let's just say it's that one right there. There is no indigenous life on Mars, so I can go there and finish my genetic manipulation to create my zombie pigmen, to create my wealth of gold that I want to have. Getting to Mars is a whole other issue. I need to be able to create something called a Tier 2 rocket. Uh, you may remember that I created a Tier 1 rocket in order to get to the moon. 
In order to create a tier two rocket, I need to have tier two rocket plans. And from what I've heard, there is an old man that lives in a cave somewhere on the moon. And that old man holds the keys to the tier two rocket plans. So I just have to find him and convince him that he should give me those plans. Uh, I don't think that'll be too hard. I'm a pretty nice guy and I, I think I can convince him. But all I gotta do first is find him. So quite a bit of exploration later and I believe I have found the old man's cave. But what I'd also thought I'd show, I thought this was kind of interesting. I, this is my base right here. It turns out that I am surrounded by villages. There's one there, uh, there, 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 and a little small one there. And I think I might have seen some more that just didn't get revealed by the map. So I thought maybe I just had one village that was close by to me that was threatening me. But uh, no, there's there's quite a few there. So it's probably a good that I don't try to do something that they don't like. But uh, anyway, uh, ooh, little creeper there. I was uh, flying along and I seen this big giant pit right there. I believe that's the cave where the old man lives. Doesn't look very inviting. Um, I think if you were walking along and saw this giant pit, there's no way you would go in there. I mean, why would you? But uh, we are here now, and I'm going to go down and see if I can find this old man. Um, I do have some glowstone torches. I probably should have brought some more, but that's life. And I think I'll go take out these, uh, these guys real quick. Woo! This low gravity thing really messes with me. There we go. Those guys are gone. I hear a skeleton. Hello, skeleton. Ha! Huh. Pick you out as well. All right, so let's go back down here. And I guess I'll just go down into the pit. I see spider webs down there. That's kind of distressing. There's a creeper. All right, old man. Old man, are you here? Old man? Old man, do you live here? Oh. Uh, of course, I gotta have an infernal skeleton. All right, well, let's take you out because you're gonna do bad things to me anyway. Here we go. Another guy? Oh, here you are. Hello. Oh, there's two of you. Hello. Hello. Have you seen an old man? I'm looking for an old guy. Um, I don't know anything about him other than the fact that he's old. All right, let's go kill these guys or try. Oh, no, I'm stuck in a spider web. I got that guy out. Uh, I don't like spider webs. Well, this is bad. I see spawners here. Let me get rid of these guys. Ooh, don't want them springing up on me. Get rid of you. Okay. Huh, somebody tried to put torches down in here. Well, that doesn't work. We all know that. There's no oxygen on the moon. Old man. Hello, old man. Are you here? Hey, oh, spiders. Nobody likes spiders. Uh, except maybe an arachnid file arachnophile is that what it would be called somebody who loves spiders would be an arachnophile maybe i'm not sure there's another one over here i am going to take out these uh spawners because i don't want anybody sneaking up on me hello old man whoa creeper all right trying to sneak up on me let's take out the spawner there we go old man old man i'm looking for an old man I heard he lived around here somewhere. Oh, I got hit by a, by a skeleton, I think. I did. Ugh. Where are you at? Oh, you're right there. Come here. Come here. There we go. Put down some torches real quick. There we go. Hello, old man. Hello? Is there an old man here anywhere? Some more spiders. Go away, spiders. Nobody likes you. Oh, oh, and a creeper. Creeper. All right. Got rid of him. Take out spawner. Oh, come on. Take out the spawner. I'm going to put away my bedrock pickaxe because I'm really afraid that if I use that, I will set off a horde of monsters and just ruin my day. So, let's see. No, there's a skeleton over here somewhere. Ow! Do you not want to come closer? Come closer. No? All right, charge! Ah! 
Man, this old man really hides in here, doesn't he? Forgot I've got to eat. I haven't been in a battle in a long time. All right. Hello, old man yet? No. Oh, creepers. Lots of creepers. And a spider. Ah, spider. Quit jumping on me. That's why nobody likes you. You jump on people. People generally don't like being jumped on by a spider. All right. Where's this old man at? Why is he so far in here? Oh, creeper. Dang, skeleton. Stop shooting me. That's not very nice. I got a record. I got a music disc somehow. Oh well, that's kind of cool. Oh. Oh my goodness. Do you see the infernal... Oh, he's got poison. That just figures, don't it? Can I set one of you guys off? There we go. Yikes. This guy's got every single infernal enchantment there is. Holy moly. Alright. Set down my torches again. Come on, stop... Uh... Whoa, there's one right there. What's with all these spider webs? It's just creepy. Who would live in a place like this? Alright, take out the spawner. Take out the spawner. Alright, how am I doing on health? A little bit low. I need to be a little bit worried about that. But, uh... Oh, what is this? Let me... I think I may have found the old man's room. Let me get up back up to my full health here. We'll go in and say hi. Hello, old man. Hello, old man. Hi, I hear that. Whoa! What are you so mean for? Well, aren't you a butthead? All right, old man, you asked for it. I'm taking you out. Well, you're not very nice at all. I bet you don't get a lot of company. How rude. Come, I can't hit you more than once. That's not fair. Quit laughing at me, too. It's just rude. There you go. Well, I'm sorry I had to kill you, old man. Wow. Okay, well, you know, if you were kinder to people, they wouldn't have to kill you. Look at that, a key. Is that a key? Yeah, it was a key. Tier 1 dungeon key. That's pretty cool. All right, ah, and then we go in here. Yeah, this is probably where the old man slept. Tier 1? I'll probably need a Tier 1 dungeon key to unlock this. Well, isn't that the height of obviousness? Uh, Tier 1 dungeon key. Boop. There we go. Uh, yes, Tier 2 rocket plans. That's what I wanted. Very, very, very good. Got some scrap and some canola and a name tag. And a bunch of junk that I don't really need. So, I'm sorry, old man, that I had to kill you, but, you know, let's face it, you attacked me. But I've got the Tier 2 rocket plans that I was looking for, so I can begin building my Tier 2 rocket. Okay, back on the overworld, over at my NASA workbench. And I believe I go into the schematic slots, put this in here, hit unlock... And I now have the Tier 2 rocket. There was the Tier 1 rocket, and here is the Tier 2 rocket. Now, the only thing that's bad about this, in a sense, is that nothing here tells you what you need in order to make this rocket. That's kind of a bad thing. I don't like that quite at all. Okay, unfortunately, I did have to do a quick perusal of the uh, Galacticraft website, but I'm going to need a nose cone four tail fins, an engine, two boosters, and ten, one, two, three, four, five, yes, ten heavy duty plates. So I think I may have enough materials to get started on building all that stuff. So I'm going to work on that. I'll be back when it's done. I think I have all the parts I now need to make the tier two rocket, which will take me to Mars. So let's go ahead and get into the NASA workbench again. Start off with a nose cone there, two tier one boosters. Oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong rocket. See up here, tier one rocket. I'm in the wrong one. There we go, tier two rocket. Okay, nose cone, and then two uh, of the boosters, four 
rocket fins, like so, one engine, and then 10 of these heavy duty plates, all in a row like so. And there we have it, the tier two rocket. Excellent. All right, so now I have the rocket. And again, the ridiculous look of me holding this gigantic rocket over my head. But let's go ahead and run this over to our launch pad, which is still in the same place it was before, of course. And we will plop it down. Boom. Okay. Now I need to get it fueled up. So let's go ahead and... Oh, is it already... Uh, stop. Status ready. Load fuel. Active. Okay. So it should be loading up with fuel. And then I do need to go up in here and remove the glass covering that I have to keep the rain out. Nobody wants a launch pad that's covered in rain. Let's face facts. All right, go back down and collect up all my glass. And in my inventory here, I have the necessary items I need to build a Stargate on Mars. It's going to be the same thing I did on the moon. I'll get up there, build the Stargate. That way I'll have a way to get back and forth. I just want to make sure that I have written down the Stargate address for down here on the base, which I have. So let me get into the rocket, like so. And let me check my fuel levels. Fuel is complete. So here we go, let's launch. Countdown is going, rocket sounds are active. Gotta have those rocket sounds, you know how that goes. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, blast off! And there we go. Ooh, leaving my meteor scattered terrain behind and heading up into the atmosphere and into space. We'll be going to Mars. And there is no village on Mars. There is no, there are no villagers on Mars which means I will have free reign to do whatever I need to do while I'm up there. Don't know why I'm talking about it. Again, we have to wait till we get to the upper parts of the atmosphere here, which we are almost there. And there we go. There we see I have the option to go to Mars. So I'll click that, click the send to dimension button. And there we go. I'm coming in for a landing on what appears to be a bunch of balloons. And in this case, instead of having to hit the space button to uh, slow your descent, you just kind of bounce on these uh, landing balloon type things. All right. Once it comes to a halt, I believe I can just push left shift and get out. And there we go. And here we are on Mars. Now, of course, my oxygen is slowly being depleted from my tanks because obviously there is no oxygen on Mars and I'll need to have that. So I just need to find a place to go ahead and build my portal, uh, of course, or my, my Stargate, I should say. And of course, the uh, the area should be flat enough or that I can make it flat enough that it will uh, be able to fit the rest of my base when I want it without having to do too much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it just right up here. And of course, I want to build it. I don't have to build it super quickly because I have you know plenty of oxygen but I do want to build it. It's fairly important that I know that it works and that I can get back and forth to, to the overworld or even to Mars or to the moon for that matter. I will be able to travel to, um, to the moon if I want to. The gravity is, is a little bit lower here, much like on the moon. Not as bad as the moon, but it is a low gravity situation. And so we finished building our Thing, which I have built incorrectly somehow because I wasn't paying attention. It goes there. There we go. There's my thing. And I think I have it about this far out. Take out some Mars surface rock. Put in my controller like so. And <laughs> hopefully I didn't check, but hopefully I have. Yeah, we go. There we go. I have some fuel. Some of the Nakata, Nakata fuel. And now I need to write down the address for this one. 
EDP, B N E B. Good. Okay. So now make sure this works. Uh, Z C P B N B A, and go. I do. S I do sometimes get some weird sound uh, problems with the portals on the moon and Mars, but as you can see, it is working. There is the Stargate, and if I go through, hopefully I will be back on the overworld, and here I am. Excellent. So I now have the ability to travel back and forth to Mars. All right. So this is the red planet. As I said, we are on Mars. There are no villages here, so I do not have to worry about uh, some council of mayors being upset with my activities. I can do whatever I want. So the next thing I'm going to do is construct my base, which I will start building it around here, and I'll build it pretty much as similarly as I did to the moon base. And then I will set up the facility where I will begin my collection of gold. But that's going to be it for this episode. I'll come back next episode with my completed Mars base. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.